flips across like that and then you will look through here and that will line things up with this over here and you're able to tell if something is in focus or range of something or that. I have to, I have to research it and that will be for another video. Uh, right from the onset the lens looks amazing no issues with the lens from what I can see um, it looks like the bellows look in good shape just a bit of lint on it but I don't see any brakes on it if you look it's in pretty decent shape look at that I'm quite happy with this so far but you know the the, the um, Really, the, 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 the point of a camera, if you want to shoot with it, is actually if the shutter fires. And for these old cameras, uh, you want to make sure that the shutter actually fires. So what I'm going to do now is figure out if the shutter fires. When I buy these cameras, I always try to make sure that it, the listing mentions that it works. And... Um, if it doesn't work, I don't even go near it because I actually shoot with my cameras. I don't just collect them for collect. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. I don't know what that does, but I think that will change the focus distance. If you look, pay attention to the distance, that little gap in here. And you may notice that the lens is getting closer and further as you spin this. And so that will actually help to keep things in focus or to, uh, to set the focus because it changes the distance from the lens to the, to the subject and from the lens to the film. So by so doing you change the focal distance and you either focus or adjust the focus of, of your object depending on how far it is from the lens. Now I've never seen that mechanism separated from the lens in this fashion this is actually quite nice this is very nice this camera looks like it's very nicely engineered usually it's on this itself and it looks to me like you can spin this if you want as well but it's also nice to have this separated and you could actually do this without actually messing with the lens itself this is a very nice thing I'm really surprised to see something of this quality on this camera. This is amazing. From what I can tell, uh, this would be the shutter to cock it. I think I just cocked the shutter. I pulled this down, this lever down, and let's see if it fires. Maybe I have to wind it. I did wind it. Oh, it fired. So you have to wind the film this way. See, the, the skill with film photography is <laughs> it transfers from one camera to the next, right? Because the film goes here, you do have to wind it to the next slide. And it's to, allow, uh, to prevent double exposures. So I'm going to cock it again this way. Watch it. And I'm going to... Um, this I'm gonna wind and then I'm gonna try and shoot it so this will wind it to the next slide let's see it does shoot let me see if I'm gonna look inside to see if the um, if the shutter actually opens up when it fires And as you wind, obviously, the film will be moving in the back. So you're going to see the numbers move across, depending on where you are looking, right? So this is the whole point of this camera. So let's see. I need some light to see. It does open. That's excellent. That's, it's the, that's the ultimate test. If the shutter fires, um, whether or not it's, it's accurate, that's another issue but it does fire so that's a big obstacle uh, taken care of right now and I see that um, you know what I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a review of this camera and uh, so when I do I will actually 
um, share some more information about this. So on to the next unboxing. Uh, for those of you um, that have been following my vlog, uh, I got this camera some time ago and um, one thing that I noticed was that this was stuck, right? So when I try to fix it by unscrewing uh, this and setting it back on, the images that I received were a little blurry. So I'm going to go through um, trying to collimate this lens to make sure that it's on properly and it focuses properly and that's another video that I'll be doing in the future in the meantime I did I did uh, purchase something on eBay sorry Amazon and this is a very it's I think I purchased this for about uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is I purchased this for about $12 or so, or so. and it's a two kit See, it says 58N1 Magnetic Repair Tool Drive Kit. So what I needed was the type of screwdrivers and the right tools to be able to conduct the repair. And also, as I'm working with on my cameras, when my cameras do break, I think having a tool kit like that is absolutely important and it's magnetic so it can catch on to the screws it has some very fine point uh, screwdrivers in there which is crucial for what I what I work on so I am really looking forward to using uh, these tool, uh, two tools to fix my cameras whenever uh, they do break so that was a quick unboxing of the Mokba or the Moscow 5 uh, film cameras okay film camera this is a beautiful camera just look at that lens it's a beautiful camera so well made the engineering <laughs> the Soviets really uh, over engineered things sometimes and it just shows like this is this is so well made it just feels quality it feels quality it feels premium for some reason even just check the rims the detail of this around the, the lens case here it's just beautiful so I'm gonna lower this now and check this out press this and see I know why this has to go down, back down flat <laughs> and now I can actually do it I see it closes up nice satisfying click close this flap and you have a camera that can fit in your coat pocket and travel with you this is just beautiful I really love this camera so far and it seems like it's in good working order as well so I purchased this for about, about maybe like um, hundred and I think it was less than a hundred dollars about eighty or ninety dollars on eBay and um, I look forward to shooting with it. Anyways, thanks, 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 guys, for joining me on this vlog post um, for this video. I really appreciate you guys clicking on this and watching this. Uh, please do share my videos, and if you like it, that would be awesome. Just click on the like button. And as always, I, j I would ask you if you want to be notified whenever I upload new videos. As you can tell, I'm really excited about this hobby. And this is something I love doing and sharing uh, this experience with you. Please do click the subscribe button and you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. I try to upload at least three videos every week because I'm always exploring and there's so much to explore. I have all these film cameras that I load up every now and then to go shooting and I will be doing a lot of film camera reviews in the future as I load them up and this is fun. It's fun for me and I, I hope it's fun for you as well. Alright, as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.